Hey everybody, Adam here from The Army Painter. Today I wanna to show off our new Masterclass dry brushes. These high quality, premium, goat hair, dome shaped bristle dry brushes are fantastic for dry brushing, but they're great for doing other techniques like stippling and push blending. I'm gonna showcase how to use this when you're painting up some skin tones. And we're gonna use a model from the Rising Sun board game. The paints that I'm going to use for this tutorial are War Paint Scribnoir Purple, Mutant Hue, Centaur Skin, Corpse Pale, and Mummy Rogue. So we'll also be using Quick Shade Purple Tone and Mixing Medium. The range of techniques that you can achieve using our Masterclass dry brushes is expansive. Today we're gonna to focus in on a bit of stippling, push blending, and dry brushing techniques as we begin to paint up the skin tones on this giant monstrous creature from the Rising Sun board game. I primed the model in uniform gray before giving it an all over base coat through the airbrush using our brand new airbrush medium with Grimoire Purple. Now I'm going to begin by adding some shading and definition to the model right out of the bottle using Quick Shade Purple Tone. I'm just gonna apply this all over the model. We are going to reestablish this base tone once this has had time to dry, but this is just to pull out the definition on the model, add some extra contrast to the model before we get started building up these skin tones. Once the wash has had time to dry, I am taking our moderate dry brush and I'm taking a bit of Grimoire Purple and now I'm just reinforcing that Grimoire Purple on the model, the base tone on the model, allowing that purple tone wash to just sit and exist in the recesses, let those shaded areas remain. Now I'm starting with Grimoire Purple because this is a more monstrous style creature, but I will work it up to a more realistic skin tone. You can follow the same techniques and principles here using any color variation that you'd like for the skin tones that you are working up on your models at home. The next color that we need is Mutant Hue, and this is a nice rosy pinkish, almost purple color. Now I'm gonna begin by stippling this on on the most extreme areas. This is gonna build up some texture on the skin tones. And once I've established that and allowed that to dry, I'll work my way back in and around and dry brush this color, like you can see here on the backs of the shoulders. Now what I'm gonna do is I wanna allow some of that Grimoire Purple to exist underneath and in the shaded areas. So you'll notice that in a circular motion, I am applying this Mutant Hue highlight over the tops while leaving the Grimoire Purple in the more recessed, deeper areas, the areas that would be cast in shadow with the light shining down from above. I'm gonna apply the same technique on the front of the model, focusing on the center of the belly because this is a huge focal point on the model. Now I said that I was going to bring this up to a more realistic skin tone, so I'm now going in with Centaur Skin and I'm going to apply it with the moderate Masterclass dry brush in the same fashion as I did Mutant Hue, but I'm going to focus this more inside and more centralized areas on the, the tops of the rounded edges like the belly and the shoulders while allowing the mutant hue and the grimoire purple to exist and stay untouched in the deeper and wider areas on the model. You can do a similar effect with an airbrush for those that do not have an airbrush. The Masterclass dry brushes allow you to achieve very similar gradations and results with this Zenithal style highlight. I'm just doing it with a brush and bristles as opposed to through the airbrush. So we're just gonna focus on the higher areas on the model and really work up that purple to almost realistic skin tone. Now this will be the final dry brush that we're going to apply and I'm using Corpse Pale. This is obviously a slightly paler and more realistic skin tone. And again, I'm just gonna apply this in the more centralized and higher areas on the model. And you can really see how I'm working this color from that deeper, darker Grimoire Purple with the purple toned shade up to a realistic skin tone when I apply this Corpse Pale. If you wanted to do a blue skin tone and work it up, that would be great for like a stone troll. You could do the same technique, just replace the purple tones like Grimoire Mutant Hue with bluer tones, or you could just do a more realistic skin tone on a model like this by starting with a color like Barbarian or Tanned Flesh. Now I wanna reestablish some of the shadows and really push the contrast on this model and bring it back down to that purplish tone that we discussed previously. So I'm taking one part quick shade purple tone to three parts quick shade wash mixing medium and I'm gonna apply this liberally almost as a glaze over top of all of the model. The 
darker pigments will work their way into the recesses, while the quick shade wash mixing medium allows this to act as a glaze, making the tone of the model just a little bit more purple. Once our second application of the wash has had time to dry, I went ahead and based in the other areas of the model in matte black paint. This is just to show off how well these skin tones look. I'm applying a final highlight using Corpse Pale and a character brush. Now this is completely unnecessary if you just wanna get your model up to tabletop standard, but if you really wanna impress your gaming friends, I highly recommend taking your time and applying a couple simple highlights and using very thin down paint so I have ultimate control because there are no real hard edges on this skin tone. So using that thin down paint gives me the control to really trace in these lines, pick out these muscle tones and striations on this model. So I went about highlighting in the rest of the model and then I finished off the rest of the areas on the model, the metallic bits, the flesh tone bits on the skulls that he has wrapped around his body, as well as the cloth areas, really just to finish it off and showcase how well this looks. You can see the muscles and the highlights there that I finished off for you. And I'm really proud as to how this model turned out. Remember with the Masterclass dry brush set, you can pull off some really great results, especially when you're painting up skin tones like this model. Whether you wanna paint up blue skin tones, natural skin tones, or something a little bit more fantastic like the one that I did for you today. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed showing off these new techniques that you can achieve with our Masterclass dry brush range. Don't forget to pick these up at www.thearmypainter.com. Order them from your friendly local game store or from your favorite online retailer such as Amazon. Remember that the magic in miniature painting is that it can be as simple or as challenging as you'd like it to be. With the right techniques, you're sure to achieve some great results. We'll see you next time.